What's up guys, Caleb and Jeffrey here from Moment, back again with another cell phone video review. This time, it's about the Google Pixel 2. Just got this in the office today, we're super stoked on it. We're gonna compare the Pixel 2 versus the iPhone 8 Plus. Can I do this one? Sure, Niles is, feels a little left out, so he's gonna actually conduct this review. See ya. All right guys, so today we're gonna be testing the Pixel 2 versus the iPhone 8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy S8 Plus. Three phones, three locations, let's see how these cameras stack up. All right, so just like every good review, we did have to start it off with some food and some ice lattes. Thanks, dude. We then went to our first location, Snoqualmie Falls, to run our first test. Okay, so at location one, we're gonna be testing details and sharpness, colors, and also dynamic range. Should we go? Let's go. Let's, let's do go. it. I'm excited about the new phone though. I think the camera so far just barely playing with it. It's looking super good. So in testing sharpness and detail, what we're looking for is tons of textures in the image. There are tons of rocks, tons of trees, tons of leaves. It's perfect. First thing I've noticed that each phone is handling the flares very differently. What one did you like the most? So far, I liked the Pixel the most. All right, so we're gonna test dynamic range right here. We have the perfect opportunity because half of this cliff face is blown out like by the sun. There's a line from the shadow, then there's dark right in the waterfall, so. This is gonna see how good it retains the highlights and shadows at the same time. The heck is he doing? So while we were out shooting the waterfall, we met a friend, or as one might call him, a model. All right, so we're down here by the waterfall. Random stranger we found to be our model. We're gonna try the portrait mode out on the Pixel versus the iPhone 8's portrait mode. Uh, Samsung S8 Plus doesn't have a portrait mode, so sorry. All right, one, two, three. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what are you guys on YouTube? Yeah, uh, Moment Sizzlers. Moment Sizzlers? All right, so now we're gonna go into video mode, but Caleb, where do you wanna go? I wanna go shoot the video from up there, pointing down. I wanna go down. shoot up the video there, down too. Let's go. What do you know? Let's go. Let's go. Jeffrey. All right, so we made our way up here to check out the video mode on these phones. Right now we're gonna shoot on 4K and 30 frames a second on the new Pixel phone, and then we'll be doing the same on the other devices. So when we're shooting video, we're looking for colors, dynamic range, and sharpness. All right, so for location two, we thought what better than just a generic city park? <laughs> and like with every test we do, ever, Caleb had to skate. Just slow-mo test. <laughs> just slow-mo test. Let me practice my kickflip. It's the flip, only dude. time I can practice my kickflip. I mean. All right, back by popular demand, skateboard slow-mo test. One thing to note is that the iPhone 8 Plus does shoot 240 at 1080p. So that is a small advantage over the Pixel 2, but let's see how they look. Say something right, so about Caleb eating it. Caleb may or may not fall. <laughs> oh, what's up? As much as we loved our first portrait mode model, it was time to call in the big guns, and who better Jeffrey. Then Jeffrey. Okay, so we're gonna put these up head to head, Pixel 2 versus iPhone 8 Plus, just to test the portrait mode. We're looking for how the bokeh looks, the amount of blur, and how the fringing and feathering looks, the quality of it. So, we'll do a test of Jeffrey and let you decide what looks better. 
When is it time for Starbucks? Right now. So a major side note with the Google Pixel 2 is that you can use moment lenses in conjunction with the portrait mode. The iPhone 8 Plus can't do this because it uses the dual lenses simultaneously to get the portrait mode effect, but this setup is super powerful. You are able to get wide shots with a blurry background. They are the coolest portraits we've seen from a phone to date. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Anyways, it's, just a side note, back to the test. pretty cool. Let's go, brothers. The third and final location was Seattle at night in order to test the low light in all three devices. So we're skating out. I don't know exactly where we're gonna end up, but... Oh, it smells like poop. But yeah, the city's right here. Wow, this is beautiful. Check it. Okay, let's actually just talk through the lines real quick. So hey guys, we're out here shooting low light. You know we're using that. <laughs> All right, everybody. It's finally dark, and it's time to see what these devices can do in low light. We're going to be looking for how much detail we get and also how much noise there is in the image. We are working with a little ambient light and the city skyline in the background. Actually, not bad. Oh, thanks, Jeffrey. No problem. What were you... how these smartphones are handling all this low light. The noise reduction does a really good job in all the phones. So just like Niall said, there is some ambient light in these shots. Um, this is a more real world situation. If you're in a city at night, there's gonna be a lot of light spilling in, but that's more of a real world test. And just a side note, if you can't tell already, this is a very unscientific test. Lots. We try to make these slightly entertaining, but also slightly informative. Leave in the comments if you think they're more entertaining than they are informative, because we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, we are at our last test and we are putting these devices through the paces. The point of this test is to test video in low light and see how it does. In conclusion, should you buy the Pixel 2? How does it look? How does it stack up? We're actually gonna leave that up to you. Um, every phone is incredibly powerful. Every phone does such a good job. The Pixel 2 is sharper on a lot of the photos. Like, a lot of details come up in that. Um, the other phones might have different specs with video that are a little bit better. Overall, it's really hard to say, especially portrait mode. If you're really oh. into taking portraits, that is my number one winner because you yeah. can attach our lenses in conjunction with that and it's awesome. So let us know in the comments below which phone you have, which phone you're gonna upgrade to, which phone you like better. If you have any other like reviews you want us to do, leave them in the comments mm -hmm. if you like this style. We asked them to leave so much in the comments. Please write out a four page paragraph Yeah, we need an essay with a, with, with a score out of 10 on how we do it. <laughs> no, but for you real, thank you. everywhere. <sighs> but for real, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video if you made it to the end and we'll see you in the next one. Peace guys. Miss you, Jeffrey. You want to see me eat some leaves or something? Fine. Alright, this is practice for senior photos. Oh.